Welcome back to But I'm Still a Good Person. My name is Vince Nicholas. I'm joined by my sparkling wife, Carolyn Nicholas. Hi, everyone. Hello, honey. Uh, today we're talking about the most annoying social media posts. And this goes across Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Uh, they're all one and the same. We'll be specific in various uh, instances, but just across the whole soch, as they say. Uh, these are the most annoying social media posts. I would like to begin with birthdays. Okay. Birthdays, as they <laughs> say. Uh, the people who... Okay, so if someone wishes you a happy birthday on, on your on their Instagram story, and then you hijack that Ugh. and put that in your Instagram story. So if 10 people wish you a happy birthday on Instagram, which I don't get in the first place... Then you take their, those 10 posts and put them on your Instagram yes. story. Like, okay, we get it. Yes. You have a lot of friends or a lot of friends on Instagram. Good for you. Good for you. Fabulous. Happy birthday. Another thing about birthdays, and I hate to call out birthdays, but we're calling them out. Wishing celebrities happy birthday on Instagram. Like Snoop Dogg turned 46 today. Happy birthday at Snoop Dogg. Why? That's even more egregious. It's pathetic. <laughs> it's so, okay. Snoop Dogg, aka Calvin Broadus, which is his real name, oh. probably gets 23,000 happy birthday wishes from Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, and he cares about none of those. Am I right? It's just sad. Don't do it. It's, it's you trying to get noticed by a celebrity. And hey, I'm all about that. Uh, I want to be famous also, life. But. <laughs> Uh, to be so public about it is just, well, as Simon Cal used to say, pathetic. <laughs> That's not the way to go. Okay. My next gripe. Oh, actually, go ahead, honey, because we okay. each have uh, our own. <clears throat> so I would like to say posting, I-, I said 10 plus pictures in one post, but really any oh. more than two. Oh. I'm being generous with saying two or more. <laughs> any more than one. <laughs> It needs to stop at one, people. Right, it does. And th- this can go... Our realtor, who we love, love found, us, found us our beautiful home that we currently live in, uh, recently went on a vacation somewhere and posted 70 plus <laughs> Facebook pictures. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the way Facebook displays them is it'll have one picture, it'll have the second picture, it'll have the third, and then the fourth little window pane says plus 76, and it's like... Slow down there, Amanda, whoever you are. (laughs) I understand that people are doing this as a way of like preserving memories for themselves. But how about the rest of us? Right. What about our feelings? Save us the aggravation. Hey, uh, get a hard drive, okay? You can get like a terabyte for 30 bucks at your local Best Buy. You can still go old school and print pictures out at your local Walgreens or Walmart. Yeah. And you can make an old school photo album. You don't need to subject the rest of us to all that overkill. Right. Exactly. You you want you want to be like, hey, I went on vacation. I saw my son in Arizona. But you don't want, here's us in every, every five seconds on the trip to Arizona. Uh, yeah. Or you can pick like one really great picture that encompasses the yeah. trip and post that yeah and that, there you go that's beautiful we all enjoy it that's what people with good taste do that's what people what that's what that's what we do honey that's what, yeah i was just gonna say that's what you do i would say instagram is the uh fireplace mantle of your life you're not gonna put a picture of uh, uh, tater tots you had on your fireplace mantle. Oh, remember I had those tater tots in 1998? You're not going to do that, okay? Just one picture, a group picture of uh, family fun. Like, we were out here. We were in Arizona. We were loving it. We visited our son. And then you move on with your life. You move on with your life, and I'll move on with my Instagram feed. That's what stories are for. Yes. Okay. Well, that's a huge, a huge topic is stories versus a real life (laughs) regular instagram post there's a gigantic difference there's a chasm if you will yeah so you post for (laughs) posterity for time and all eternity for something you want to see on your deathbed the one or two like Mm -hmm. really special great pictures that you want to remember (laughs) you mean one you don't mean two yes forgive me yes of your trip that you want to remember. And then stories, 
go wild, man. Yeah. Do any, uh, put everything up there. Stories. It's gone in 24 hours. Yeah. So it's fine. Stories will go away in 24 hours. It's ephemeral. It's not into infinity. It will go away. It says bye-bye. Most of the internet, most of social media should go away in 24 hours. Uh, thank you for Snapchat. Thank you to Snapchat for that idea. But another thing is that, uh, 10, so on Instagram, they limit you to 10 pictures. Amen. Sna- Amen, Instagram. Uh, but Facebook, I don't even know what the max is, but I've seen <laughs> right? 70, 80, 130. Oh, have you? I don't think mm-hmm. I've seen over 100. Yes. But yeah, I feel like our realtor, bless her heart, <laughs> 70 plus was the maximum I've ever seen her recent Hawaii trip. Right. And uh, on a related note, uh, too many pictures on one post. Uh, another transgression that offends me to the core is multiple pictures across multiple posts. So on Instagram, there's 10 pictures per post. But if you do three posts with 10 pictures each of a hike or a dinner, that's 30 pictures. <laughs> who is scrolling through? All, who is Who has this time, honey? This is a personal pet peeve. Yes. You post the... Ex- I, I know you do this, lover, and I mm. love you. No. Okay. Wait, what? You do the exact same picture, or people in general. Mm-hmm. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you do the exact same picture. Mm-hmm. And so oh, yeah. you're you're giving all of your audiences across all of the platforms the same content. But I feel like if you're not following me on Instagram, mm. you don't deserve my Facebook picture. Mm. If you're not following me on the Twitter, yes. you don't deserve my Instagram picture. Yes. So I post different things on different platforms at different times. Well, not all of us are as savvy as you, lover, <laughs> to have a social media strategy. Okay. I just pronounced it media with a T. Uh, yeah, you do that. You're very selective. And there, it, listen, the wider discussion is that it is, they are different platforms for different purposes. Correct. Twitter, as I always say, Twitter is the bar. Facebook is Sunday dinner with your family. Instagram is probably more geared towards, uh, Sunday dinner with your family. But yeah, there are different, uh, excuse me, different audiences <laughs> oh, who want different, uh, things on do different you, platforms. Do you want to hear how I view the three? Yes, please. They are the three. They are the trifecta. Okay. Mm-hmm. Facebook, oh, this is sort of pre-COVID, but Facebook is for finding local events near you. Okay. Instagram is for aesthetics. And Twitter, yes. Twitter is for laughs. Twitter. That's how I've always viewed the three. Mm-hmm. It's been a bit less so with a... Uh, anyway. Absolutely. Absolutely <laughs> agree with that. Okay. Uh, okay. So moving on. My next pet, pet peeve is people, and this is for Twitter, uh, people who live tweet... A TV show or a sports event? Yeah, I, I, I do not. As if, as if everyone on their Twitter line knows what their Twitter timeline knows what they're talking about. All their followers are watching this Golden State Warriors game, are uh, watching this Bachelor episode. Uh, and you know what? Yes, I've never watched The Bachelor, or The Bachelorette, so right. that's really hard for me. And I understand a lot of people are into that, but I just gloss over it. Right. It's a wasted thread. Well, in in this infinite uh, world of content, no one is watching the same thing. And yeah, Bachelor gets good ratings. But what does that mean? It's not Seinfeld. It's not Friends. It's not Cheers. It gets good ratings. But still, the majority of people who follow you are not watching The Bachelor. The majority of people who are watching, who are following you are not watching the Golden State Warriors game. So when you tweet about it, it goes it goes into the ether. It, it, it's meaningless. It's pointless. <laughs> it's so dumb and it's it just wastes people's time and we don't care and if you do tweet about the bachelor put hashtag the bachelor so i know to avoid your stupid uh cavalcade of 30 tweets in a row about the bachelor agreed and the another thing is about uh people who include hashtags that i i said include the hashtag so we know to avoid it uh, uh, another thing that drives me crazy is people who hashtag to get discovered because allegedly people click on a hashtag. This is the way, way back in the day when we used to uh, use Twitter in 2007, hashtags meant you would click on a hashtag like The Bachelor and then see all the tweets about The Bachelor. I don't know anyone who does that anymore because when you click on The Bachelor, you're going to get 8 million tweets. And mm-hmm. how do you, it's too much signal to noise. So uh, a lot of these people, so these people who do hashtag, like, I travel to hashtag Australia, they just want to get discovered by people who are looking at tweets about hashtag Australia, when in reality, no one is looking at 
tweets about hashtag Australia, you and you, you you come off as desperate. Like discover me, Twitter, discover me. <laughs> Drives me nuts. Go ahead, honey. What's your uh is are we on number two? It doesn't matter. Go ahead. I don't know. Your next one. Okay. This one is both irritating but funny. We we humor each other with this on mm-hmm. a daily basis. Yes. People who post over and over inspirational quotes. Oh, to, oh just listen. <laughs> It's 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 beyond. It's just sad. It's just pathetic. And the the more and I, I realize I'm being a bit chauvinist here, maybe misogyny. But the more inspirational quotes slash memes a woman posts, the crappier she will let a man treat her. Because who is <laughs> going going on and on with these inspirational posts and <clears throat> motivational memes? Who cares? I think anecdotally, yes. we can both attest to that. I would like to also point out the more inspirational quotes a woman is posting, like you said, either a man is treating her terribly or she's just been out of a terrible relationship. Right. <clears throat> personal personal divulgence there. Right. Well, when you see, uh, and listen, honey, I find you beautiful and attractive, obviously. I'm married to you. But uh, the, these women... the. The the inspirational quotes need to end, and if they continue on for uh, I don't know uh, over a year, uh, you're not pretty enough to have a man. Okay, <laughs> get in the gym, girl. Am I right? Uh, my next pet peeve is uh, Facebook memories, and well, this goes across. Oh God! This goes across the uh, there. It's called time hop in one whatever uh facebook memories android has uh one year ago three years ago and it'll show you pictures from uh one year six years ago but and then people taking that uh, like we share them we share them personally personally in our family chat in our in our marriage chat yes yeah if i get a memory from two years ago you and i went somewhere together or if i get a memory from when one of our kids was a baby and i Mm -hmm. think it's adorable Mm -hmm. i'll send that to you directly right Nobody else cares about that. Exactly. And so these people, I went to this concert eight years ago and putting it on their story or worse yet, their real life RL Instagram, their actual post. I I, I keep using this phrase, but no one cares. (laughs) No one cares that you went to a concert eight years ago. No one cares that you went to an event Two years ago, no one cares that Honey. you met a celebrity three years ago. Honey, no one cares. Yes. I just got a rem- I just got a Facebook memory from four years ago when I took Luna Marie to see Ellie Goulding, mm-hmm. and I didn't even send it to you personally because mm-hmm. I was like, he doesn't care. Actually, <laughs> I'm even very selective about what I send to you. Right. Actually, I would care about that because that is our darling daughter. But you did send today a picture of Luna Marie at. Six months, a year. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She was like in a Ugh. pool or a bathing mm-hmm, suit, mm-hmm. looking super duper cute. You sent it to our group family chat, and it, we enjoyed it. But you would never put that on your no, story or I, a real post. I don't think I've ever shared with everybody a, a memory. Nobody cares about. Uh, okay, can we expand on this a little bit? Yes. This is uh, okay. I, I might sound like a hater. You, Nobody you cares about your posts of your children. Right. Nobody cares except you and your spouse. Maybe uh, your mom, Grandma Liz <laughs> grandma's, Fisher. Grandmas care. Parents <laughs> yes. care. Yes. So, I like, okay. And to be honest, I'm guilty of pretty much everything we've mentioned tonight. Mm-hmm. But uh, but I, you're not a multiple offender. No, I try to. <laughs> I try to keep it minimum. Mm-hmm. But yeah, especially when it comes to sharing memories, I only share with you. And even then, I'm very selective about what I share. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your uh, selectivity, (laughs) honey. Uh, Next on my list is taking pictures of food, of the the dinner you're eating, the lunch you're having. Okay. Listen, people. The early days of Instagram was a wild time. You posted anything. This is my carpet. That's the wall. But... We've matured now, I want to think. We've grown up. And you realize that that stuff is unessential. No one cares. Again, back to the phrase. No one cares. So mm. posting pictures of your food is just ridiculous. I want to. I've got to diverge from you here, my love. Mm. Because I feel like 
I love seeing pictures of people's foods. Uh, and I feel like you and I both share this quite a bit. Like when I'm cooking anything for us, you and I both share it. So I feel like it's a bit... <laughs> that Maybe is, we care about seeing ourselves, but not seeing other people. That Maybe is, that's the truth here. That is personal between you and I, one-on-one. -on -one <laughs> we text. share it to our Instagram uh, like stories, though. Stories. Oh, we stories. go back to stories ah. versus actual posts. We just... Okay. To be honest, we just ate... What, what did we eat? 40 ounces of Arby's <laughs> curly fries that you can buy at Walmart in a giant bag. Mm -hmm. And we, what, what, what were the dips we just had? I made yes. three beautiful dips. Yes. Ranch, mm -hmm. cheese. Like okay. nacho cheese. Yeah. Queso con salsa, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And when you say ranch, you like busted out the packet. I made it. And you made the mayonnaise. <laughs> you didn't make the mayonnaise. I'm sorry. Mayonnaise and what's the third thing? I milk. milked the cow and got the milk. <laughs> you, you pulled on the udders. I was like, what are you doing downstairs for 20 minutes? I'm pulling on udders. Uh, so we had ranch. We had nacho cheese. And we had ketchup. Ketchup, mm -hmm. as they say. I put them in three really, really cute bowls, okay? Yes. Asian uh, themed bowls. Yep. And we went to town. What am I talking? Oh, but we took, I took <laughs> pictures. I took like, I took a couple boomerangs. I took yeah. a couple pictures of Luna Marie and our whole spread of uh, 40 ounces of Arby's curly fries, which you can buy in the frozen section of Walmart for uh, about $3 and our dips. But I put that on my story. Okay. Because, That's the difference. Right. Okay, people. Okay. It's ephemeral. Okay. If you don't know what that means, Google it. <laughs> Look it up. Ephemeral. It means it's going away. It's not permanent. People who who put their dinner and lunch on uh, their quote unquote real Instagram, their regular Instagram, you're, you're out of touch, dude. No one, again, N-O-C, no one cares. Uh, do you have another? I'm glad you asked. Yes. This is something that hasn't been as much of an issue lately, but from about March 2020 through maybe October 2020, the first part of the COVID, fat, uh, what's it called? Quarantine. Pandemic, yes. Everybody was posting screenshots of their Zoom hangouts uh, with all their friends uh, and all their coworkers. Coworkers. Uh, and it suddenly became a competition of, I have... Uh, eight people on my Zoom. I have 68 people on my Zoom. I have 140 people on my co-working Zoom. And look, uh, uh, Sarah over here wore a, a goat uh, horn, uh, a unicorn horn costume on the Zoom. And isn't that wacky? <sighs> and everyone, everyone having their little ch children in their Zoom windows with them. Like, yeah. oh, we're so... We're so glad we got to see each other and miss them so much. Oh, it was just good for you. Good for you. It was just so, as Simon Cowell would say, pathetic. Yeah, the Zoom thing took off quickly, and thankfully it's tapered down. But it was just so, gosh dang, annoying for so long. We get it. You're on Zoom with your your friends. The Zoom happy hour is a whole nother topic we go go <laughs> to. I don't even know. I wouldn't even know where to start with that or how to end that. Like you're on a Zoom happy hour and then you just start chatting? Oh, I wouldn't know. Right. Because it's <laughs> stupid. Uh, and then Zoom uh, coworkers, people, yes, people posting screenshots of their Zoom. Like, I, I'm happy for you. You, you. you continue to work in the pandemic. Congratulations. I cannot relate. I'm just happy to be in my own house with my husband and kids. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness I don't have to interact with anybody else. Ugh. Uh, next one I would like to talk about is people who are listening to music on their phone, which I don't get engaged in, but whatever. But then they take a screenshot of <laughs> I'm listening to this Bruno Mars song and then, and then they post it to their Instagram and their caption is mood, <laughs> M-O-O-D period. <laughs> Congratulations. You listen to music. I Good for like, you. I feel like we see this from the same person yeah. on a weekly basis. Name them. No. Name them. No. I don't know who you're talking about. But uh, yeah, the people <laughs> who post the music that they're listening to and how it's somehow speaking for them and thus we must all relate <laughs> to them is just so <laughs> dumb. And as Simon Cow would say, pathetic. No one cares. You, I, I just think, okay, you listen to music. Congratulations. <laughs> I, do, I do too. <laughs> I gotta say, 
Okay, well, pretty much I'm guilty of doing everything we've mentioned yes. up to now. So am I. Okay. okay. But after you, like, like you said that to me a while back, and I was like, oh, I do that. Mm-hmm. So I do have to say I stopped after you mentioned, because I was like, oh, God, he's right. Well, good. Who is this for? I'm having a positive <laughs> impact on your life, honey. It's for no one. And again, maybe on your story, which goes away in 24 hours and no one can care about. No one will. When you're on your deathbed, you're 83 and you're dying and you look at your Instagram and say, oh, yeah, I remember listening to that uh, Skilo <laughs> song in 1986. No one cares. No one. No one uh, let, let me amend this. No one cares except you. And that means no one cares. Not even for your story, so stop it. Oh, that's that's just harsh, honey. Uh, finally, you're done, right? I am. Okay, finally, I would like to to uh, call out, and this is on Facebook, the goodbye post. I'm leaving Facebook. <laughs> Facebook, I, I can't take it anymore. Facebook is toxic. Oh, they're snooping on the advertisers. They're listening to me. I'm leaving <laughs> Facebook. Goodbye, Facebook. I got to just leave no one care again. N O C. No one cares. Don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. <laughs> Along the lines of leaving, like I just need a break. Right. I'll be back in a month. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. Who cares? These people are the biggest drama queens. They're the biggest users of Facebook, and to quote Al Pacino in Godfather Three, I, I forget the exact <laughs> quote right <laughs> oh, dear, now. Oh, dear. But just when I thought I was out. <laughs> They pull me back in. They will come back because they're the biggest, to lack of a better word, they're they're the biggest whores of Facebook. They love Facebook. They can't get enough Facebook. But suddenly uh, they have a, a, a reckoning and they're like, I'm done with Facebook. But you know they're going to come back. Which is And the, my favorites are, they don't even say why. I'm leaving Facebook. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> or, or, or even better, I'm leaving Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Facebook owns Instagram, you <laughs> okay. moron. Okay, you're reminding me of something. Yes. <laughs> I see <clears throat> people, particularly one or two people I follow on Twitter. Yes. Who talk absolute shit about people on Instagram. Yes. Are we allowed to cuss on this podcast? No, it's the internet. <laughs> there's nothing. There's no curse words on the internet, honey. Okay, so on Twitter, they'll be like, Instagram's down today. Everyone's whining. Oh, oh yeah. you losers. Yeah. Meanwhile, they are posting constantly on Twitter. Yeah. Like, what's the difference? Mm. You cannot talk crap about one social media uh, arena. Platform, yes. Yeah. When you're on another one constantly. Right. Okay? It's it's pathetic. And as Simon Cowell would say, it's pathetic. And uh, Twitter, if they could be Facebook tomorrow, they would be Facebook tomorrow. So people say, I'm on Twitter because they don't sell my information to advertisers, Twitter would trade places with Facebook in two seconds because Facebook gets the ad revenue and the majority of the ad revenue, and that's what it's all about. Okay. I that was a little bit too much. <laughs> I didn't want we, – we got a little too real there. Mm. Uh, it's all about advertising in the end, people. All right. So I think we got it all out of our system, honey. Oh, I think so. Okay. Well, like, uh, comment. It's it's the end of the show, honey, <laughs> in case you weren't aware. Uh, it's been fun, but not really. Let's all try a little harder tomorrow. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow, or don't. Do whatever you want. You're a grown-up. Make your own decisions. Do what's best for your family. Goodbye. I love you. We love you. We hope you have a good day today and tomorrow and yeah we may have uh, called out our uh, realtor amanda who we we adore we may have called her out for uh, posting too many pictures on facebook but we're still good people thank you for listening goodbye